Hey guys, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host Smith and uh, today we're just going to be doing an update of what my city looks like and take a look at my layout for those that are interested. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I guess it's a good time to drop this as we're just taking the bird's eye view of my uh, city here. And as you can see, it's very vibrant right now. We've got a parade actually going on. Uh, it actually, it never stops this parade. Um, and yeah, it's real ritzy type of district here. If you want to spend money, this is the place you go. We got casinos, we've got uh, carousel type thing there. We've got elevators that go up and down and let you look at uh, over the city. Um, collecting what I can here. Uh, so we've got our kind of like secret government projects over there. Look, that's what it looks like at least, you know. Uh, some Omega buildings. I'll get into those in later videos. And we've gone green with all of our factories. I got like 10 factories now, I believe, and they're all green. And I like to keep them stocked, as you can see. And then all that other stuff there that we need to keep the city going and thriving. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these other landscape items. Um, I don't know. It just helps to hide the government project. Now, oh, there are some cars right there, speed bracing. You can see in the yellow and white car, the yellow car one, if anybody cares. Uh, really nice scenic view here, I think, uh, in, in the city. A lot of epic buildings, a lot of uh, copper, what's that? The turtle speed epic buildings. I've got a couple of silver, uh, no gold. Hopefully I'll get to that one day. And so, let me explain what I got going on. I got these kind of like condos, I guess. Yes, condos uh, here. And uh, well, I don't want to upgrade those anymore. I kind of like the way that they look and I like where they're at. Uh, they, they, they're, you know, I think it's a, a good balance to the city. What do you guys think? I'd actually like to live there, uh, you know, if I was a young bachelor, uh, it's not really, it's more of a, like a bachelor pad. Now this, these two, between those two, probably this one, Elysian Heights, uh, is my favorite building. Yeah, uh, I like this building here. It's, uh, well, I like the color of it too, but I mean, just the fact that how it's shaped and it's, you know, it's just everything. Uh, let's take a look at the university here. Uh, kids coming in, getting an education, yes, and, uh, of course, we've got our uh, kind of like beachfront properties overlooking the beach. Let's let's take a let's take a look at that. Just like a, a quick scroll through here, and they want me to convert that one to an epic project, but I don't think I am going to. Guys, I like to see different types of buildings. Done quite a little bit of um, expanding, so there's there's room for that. Uh, to take place, that sort of stuff. But, um, what else? Well, we've got, uh, we've got our kind of like commercial buildings here. This is what they're officially called. Just right here in the center, heart of the town, kind of, so to speak. And we've got some uh, kind of mid, mid-level apartments for like the middle, upper class. And then we've got some uh well these are like mansions kind of like the smaller mansions the, the more traditional mansions there and uh as you can see i got two mansions that look exactly alike and i don't like that w what i would like to do is uh see if i can get a more variety uh between those four buildings sitting there so be interesting to see what's going to come up here let's see Um, so I've also got more modern types. I, I like these. This, this row here, see, this is more of what I want. You see how they're, they're not all the same? A uh, couple of them are the same, but for the most part, we've got different buildings. And I think out of all of them, I probably like this one. Oh, the Smith Lofts, of course. So guys, 
that's where I live. Uh, the Smith Lofts, obviously. Well, actually, no, I live... I live here in this mansion, but um, that's this is just my summer house right there. The other one's my main house. So it looks like we got uh, some sort of uh, high, uh, higher end mobile facility right there out of that's the Morgan Estate there. That's what we got. So let's do some collecting here because uh, I'll let y'all see how I do upgrades. Um, what else do I need? Uh, oops. I need some more grass. And, dang it. I don't have any seeds. See, that's the problem, guys. You always gotta keep these, keep these babies stocked. So, uh, let's just go ahead. And what I kind of do is the longer items, the items that take longer, I, I just try to, every time I empty one, I try to fill them back up. The wood, the plastic, and the metal, those go pretty fast as far as the production time, so. All right, so you see, I don't collect them unless I need them as far as the items that take longer to, uh, you know, because obviously, if you can see there, I don't have a lot of space in my, uh, in my garage. Well, actually, my um, storage. Check this out. I love these first level however you say that these are these are like the first upgrade uh harrison buildings and they look like nice houses actually and so i just decided to to keep those and as you can see let me show y'all real quick i got them all covered with all three services conveniently actually there so they're all covered i, I gave them a little couple of ponds there and I don't want to upgrade these anymore I think it's a good thing when you come into the city just to see that hey we're regular people here we're not all in mansions well those guys are but uh, you know this is where the city started my headphones keep slipping off all right um, so I want to upgrade try to get an upgrade on on those four little buildings there those four traditional mansions that i've got because i want i want to try to get a little more variety just like i have here with the apartment so if you didn't know uh you can click on the upgrade button and click that like uh circle with the line cross through it and it'll allow you to upgrade another building now I'm not gonna do this here on stream but if you click on the little time watches it'll give you an option to watch a video and it skips the time uh, that it takes otherwise it takes 30 minutes for uh, them to give you a new recipe we're gonna get rid of this building because uh, it's really the same and uh, we're gonna try our luck with another building now I don't know how the cycle works and it would be good if like before I go through all this if I could just choose what kind of skin I want for my building. It'd be good if I had a skin chooser. I'd even pay simoleons for it. But, um, so let's see. I need to, oh, of course, no seeds. All right, well, uh, let's go to the Global HQ and try our luck here. All right, let's travel to Yun City. Oh, there's our couch. Hmm, pretty nice layout here. Oh, there's the buildings that I like. This guy has good taste. Yun City, population 1,147,286. Shouts out to you and your club. All right, let's see. All right, what else can we find? Let's see, who would possibly have either seeds or flour? Maybe this guy with the gnome. Nope, no luck there. Moon City, no luck at Moon City, guys. Who else? Let's go back. And how's about this guy with the shoes? Oh, nope. Not much is going to help us out there. 
Mm, take another trip. And... Uh, oh. Oh. Huh. Um, maybe with the beef, we might have some more things on sale. I'll just... Uh, actually the grass. Yeah, I need that. So, grab the grass and let's travel back and try to see what else. We're kind of on a roll here. Let's visit this guy's trade depot. Not much there. Looking for some flour, guys. Either flour or some seeds. So that I can get that, put that in there. How about the guy? Uh... Nixtown. Nope. No luck sit. No luck at Nixtown. All right. How's about uh, Grooveland? He's got a lemonade, hmm. and that's all he's got. All right. Well, this is kind of just you know what happens um, when you're in the game. You know, you just kind of. Uh, Go along from task to task, I would say. Let's check out this guy. And so all you got is cheesecake. Um, do I need cheesecake? Mm, sometimes it's kind of hard to come by uh, as far as forging it yourself. Mm. I, I gotta be mindful, I only got five more slots in my storage, so if I happen to come upon five seeds or five bags of flour, uh, I want to make sure I have room. Oh, you know what? I think I'll grab this beach item because I am almost ready to expand. Oh, look at this. Not much I need, but more than what I saw recently. So, um, let me guys actually show you my beach. I can expand here. Oh, I just need, you know what? I think I saw another one of those uh, wheels. I should have been more mindful of that and picked it up. All right, a little bit more variety here. Uh, we're hopeful. No, just a TV, Willow Ridge. Let's check out his city. Looks like he's got a lot of, uh, a lot of, the same buildings, actually. Uh, hmm. So he's real organized, I should say. He's real organized. Maybe he's trying to redo his city. That'd be my best guess. I kind of feel like I'm looking into a mirror that looks into a mirror and a mirror, mirror. You ever been a re in a restroom where they have like a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you? And then you just look at infinity of yourself, infinity images of yourself. That's what that felt like only buildings all right let's see we're back to burgers and sugar and spices <sighs> oh from the bottom coming through with the three seeds baby and oh what we need what we need so now we're over we've got uh, one over our capacity but we can go ahead and bake uh, a flour bag which is what we need for one of our uh, upgrades. And we can do this grass now. Now, let's see. So we'll just, yeah, that's all we need there. And all right. So hopefully uh, in this video, I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, what those upgrades are going to be. And we will just go ahead and... Uh, uh, hope and pray that they're not the same building or a building that we already have like I said in those four buildings those four traditional mansions I want variety there so far I got I had two of the same and I'm, I'm trying to get uh, you know at least a different color scheme or something uh, but meanwhile I don't really feel like waiting 25 minutes so let's speed things up here with uh, two cheetah coins and what else let's uh we'll probably just rush one of those seeds and put another grass in but uh oh you know what um 
let me, while we're waiting, show you guys the coverage of my city. So let's see. So here's the fire coverage. All right. And you see the one area that's not covered is the area that has the commercial buildings, the stores, which don't really need any coverage. And, uh, you know, like those trees there, those rows of trees and the government buildings there and my mansion. So check it how this is laid out, guys. I've also got the Max's Manor, 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 uh, there. And if you're not familiar with the Max's Manor, uh, it uh, actually covers fire, police, and health all in one. And, well, apparently... The first one I bought was a thousand cash and I had to save up for it really, but it looks like as you go along it doubles. Second one would have been two thousand cash. Now let's see, are there any contest of mayors sign ups? Uh hadn't really did the contest of mayors in a while. Just been really focusing on my city and trying to make it look nice. Uh I feel like with this game, unless you're like a hardcore player that puts like six straight hours into the game uh you really got to focus on one or two things uh like for instance either i'm going to focus on getting uh you know uh, cargo items or i'm going to focus on upgrading my buildings oh, by the way uh looks like you guys will see an upgrade on my tokyo building so stay tuned now what uh do i get the taller is this where i get the tallest building here i can't can't remember as you can see I only, I only got four of these Tokyo buildings in there uh, you know there's uh, it's kind of gonna bite you know kind of high <laughs> it is kind of going to be my like I don't know it looks kind of wild these buildings here with like the uh, billboards you know on on the buildings and stuff and this one here this this building this old building it's, it looks very old uh, the reason it's here and it's not destroyed yet. I've actually had this building like ever since I made my first video. Wait, like a year ago, guys. Uh, I started making my first SimCity video April of 2007. So I've always had that building there. And if you go back, I started deleting my buildings because I start over. I've been playing the game since 2015, but my first video, you know, was uh, a year ago. So that building there with the task that's not been completed has been around simply because I haven't completed the last task which is like to unlock oh okay so this isn't this isn't the tallest building there uh, that last task there is to unlock well you guys saw it uh, one of the disasters so that's why it's still there all right well um looks like I got two Tokyo buildings that are the same. Oh, so for this one, I guess this is about to result. The next upgrade for this one will result in the tallest, uh, in the taller buildings, the uh, most tallest. Uh, apparently, I need two bonsai trees, two more to make three. So, better focus on getting those Tokyo cargo shipments here pretty soon. <laughs> All right, well, what were we doing? Oh, check out the golf course, guys. All right. Um, so, oh, here are our items. So our flower bag is going to yield us a um, upgrade here. And let's put this, let's go ahead and rush this grass here and just cash it out. Right, and let's put this grass in. We've got this multiplier, and, and we got 55 minutes, so that's going to be a waste of, you know, a cheetah. But for the sake of doing the video in a timely manner, I uh, just wanted to rush it there. And I really like that uh, fountain there. So let's see what we get. Hopefully we will get uh, some variations. All right, well, this does look different than all the other uh, lower end residential buildings. So I think between the 
between the three of these, we should get uh, some different, some different uh, traditional mansions. So all we need, I think, is we're waiting on that last grass that's in the cooker. Now, why is it that this house actually looks a lot better than the, uh, the mobile home when I don't know. All right, uh, where are we at with our with our grass? Let's go ahead and just get prepared. All right, and shouldn't be too much longer for our grass. We got the 12 times multiplier, the cheetah. Oh, look at that. Look at the clock go, guys. Look at the clock go. Yep. So, uh, let's check on the university then. Um, oh, look at those guys still playing football back and forth. They're very, uh, very dedicated, those guys. And look at the nighttime effect here. The nightlife is booming at the beachfront, if you can see for yourself. All right, so there's our grass. Now, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Them for the, this is what we've all been waiting for from the beginning of the video. What kind of uh, mansion, traditional mansion? This isn't the official name for them. This is just what I call them, these traditional mansions. Then you got the contemporary mansions right across the street. So let's see. What do we get? Uh... And, and, and it's the same. It is exact, is this, I can't tell. I mean, it's the same, but I, it looks like the color might be different. To me, I'm, I'm seeing a slight fuchsia, purple type of skin. And the other one has got a more blue, bluish hue. Nevertheless, it is the exact same building. How did this happen? So... We're going to have to try this again. We're, we're gonna have to, you know, destroy that, destroy one of them, and we will just, uh, you know, keep going. Now let's see. Uh, well, uh, looks like there are some new items here. Or some, something new uh, they want me to claim. We'll get into that on the next video. So guys, uh, make sure that you like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And we will address whatever's going on there on the next video.